Hey there happy people, welcome to New England Crypto and East Coast Hardware. In today's video, we're going to be taking a journey through the land of Bitcoin and blockchain technology. Today's video is aimed at beginners, but there'll be a little something in here for everyone. If you're curious about Bitcoin, how crypto mining works, or what all this hash rate and proof of work stuff means, this video will walk you through it in plain English with real hardware on the table. Stick around to the end because one viewer in the United States will win a gold nugget solo miner from Bitcoin Merch. And make sure you're following us on X or Instagram because that is where the winner will be announced. Bitcoin uses something called proof of work, which is just a fancy way of saying computers from all around the world are racing to solve math puzzles. And the winner gets to add the next block of transactions to the blockchain, Plus, they get a block reward. Those miners make the network super secure and hard to attack, because anyone trying to cheat would need an insane amount of hash rate to outwork all of the honest miners combined, which is what makes the Bitcoin blockchain so secure. Let's go over a couple of key terms that you'll hear often in the mining world. Hash rate. Hash rate is simply how many guesses per second a miner can make at those math puzzles. For Bitcoin, this is measured in hashes per second, going from kilohash, which is thousands, all the way up to terahash, which is trillions. Power consumption. Power consumption is how many watts the device pulls from the wall. And for miners, the real question is how many hashes do I get per watt? Because that tells how efficient it is. Efficiency is another key term you'll hear a lot. Let's start by taking a look at a CPU mining rig. First up is a basic CPU mining rig, a regular desktop style system without the case, using the processor to mine crypto. It is the slowest option in terms of hash rate, but it is great for showing the concept and testing mining software. Also, some coins or blockchains are only efficiently mined with CPUs, like Verus for example. With a CPU miner, the hash rate is tiny and the power draw is relatively high per hash, which is why CPUs are mostly used for learning and for certain alternative coins, not serious Bitcoin mining today. You can also add a GPU to it and rent it out on AI platforms like Salad and Vast AI for passive income. All right, next, let's take a look at GPU mining rigs. This server case has eight RTX 3070s in it, and this one has eight RX 6700 XTs in it. GPUs are massively parallel and can push much higher hash rates than CPUs, which is why they became popular for many proof-of-work coins, even though Bitcoin itself has moved on almost entirely to ASICs. Full-size Bitcoin ASICs are a beautiful thing, but that's for a whole nother video. They are not for beginners. Back to those RTX 3070s, we can see that the temperatures are all looking really good. We're pulling just over 1000 watts and we have 1.266 giga hashes on ergo. We can see that all 8370s are active. We can see that the hash rates and temperatures look great. And all fans are at 0% because in the server case, the server fans take care of all the cooling. These 3070s have been smashing ergo solo blocks lately. GPUs shine when you want flexibility to mine different algorithms, even if they cannot compete with modern Bitcoin ASICs on pure efficiency. Now we'll switch to something fun and tiny, a USB nerd miner style Bitcoin solo miner, which is designed more as a lottery ticket and a learning tool than a profit machine. These small USB nerd miners typically hash at around 70 kilohash per second while using under one watt of power, which makes them perfect to plug into any USB port, watch the stats and learn how solo mining works with almost no impact on your electric bill. And then to step it up a notch, there's the gold nugget solo miner from Bitcoin Merch, which is basically a very cool themed compact solo Bitcoin miner that runs over Wi-Fi with a hash rate on the order of a few hundred kilohash per second like an upgraded USB nerd miner, but in a more polished, collectible package. It uses very little power, just one single watt, and is marketed as a fun gateway into solo Bitcoin mining, letting you see live stats and block lottery attempts without the noise and heat of a full-size ASIC, which makes it perfect for education and for this channel's current giveaway. One of you in the United States is going to win a gold nugget solo miner. To enter, just comment something positive about Bitcoin down below and make sure you are following us on X or Instagram because that is where the winner will be announced. This is meant as a fun educational device, not financial advice or a promise of profit. 
And then, at the higher end of the hobbyist spectrum is the Nerd QX++ Hydro, a water-cooled SHA-256 ASIC that can push up to 5 terahash per second while using roughly 70 to 90 watts. That puts it in a completely different class than the little lottery miners, because you are moving from hundreds of kilohash into terahash territory, while still keeping power draw low enough for home use and noise levels much more manageable than traditional big boy ASICs. I put together a quick spreadsheet in Excel that shows all the devices, typical hash rates, approximate power, and use cases. Feel free to pause, take a screenshot, or just take a read. These mini lottery style solo miners are not a realistic way to get rich, but they are an excellent way to learn how Bitcoin blocks are found, how blockchains are secured, and what hash rate really feels like day to day. Treat small miners and rigs as educational tools. Always consider electric costs and network difficulty before buying bigger hardware. I suggest looking at Bitcoin mining as a way to participate in securing the network rather than just chasing quick profits, especially at the beginning. If this video helped you understand Bitcoin mining or proof of work, hit like, drop that positive Bitcoin comment for a chance at the gold nugget solo miner, and follow us on X and or Instagram so you don't miss the winner announcement and future deep dives into real world mining hardware. Also, please feel free to comment ideas for future videos, such as how to set up mining software, how pool mining works versus solo mining, or even how to mine crypto on your cell phone. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Please like and or subscribe on the way out, and I will see you on the next one.